Um, so, you know, like anything else in management, like the framework or the tool sets that Rob talked to you about, <coughs> which is wonderful, we also need an approach. We need like an understanding. How do we are gonna, how are we gonna go about doing this kind of stuff for building these performance management dashboards? Uh, anyone has heard of uh, Kaplan and Norton? These guys put out what we call a balanced scorecard concept, okay? And it's funny because Kaplan is actually an accountant. And he's actually got a real good book for those of you in manufacturing or manufacturing cost accounting. He basically wrote the book on it. So, but being from that strong financial accounting background, these guys came up, they realized, and the example, by the way, that stuck with me, that again, going back to the DNA of what we are comfortable with with the dashboard, they use the pilot. They use the example of the pilot. If you are the pilot, if you're fly, flying an airplane, you know, like, I don't know about you guys, but when I, anytime I fly, <clears throat> when I'm going in, you gotta make a right, right, to go to, to your seat. I always peek in the cockpit. It's kind of cool. It's got a lot of like instruments and you know, kind of like see what the pilots are doing and all that. And, and there's a ton of instruments, okay? And they use the example. How would you feel if the pilot says, hey, this is Captain Zilka, you know, uh, folks, uh, we're gonna take off in a few minutes. You know, although I have gazillion instruments today, fly, I have four kickoffs, we make sure we have enough gas and fuel, and uh, we have enough fuel, and that's, that's, that's all we have. We don't have any time to look at the other gauges. So we're set to go. What do you say, well, wait a second. Don't you wanna check the other gauges there, buddy, before taking off, right? All those gauges are there for a reason. So what do we want the pilot and the co-pilot to do? We ask them to go through a very thorough checklist. It's not that what you feel like doing, it's what you have to do, okay? So, so you gotta keep that in mind. What they say, Kaplan and Norton, is that, you know, you can't just look at one thing. So we got a lot of financial folks in the room today. You just can't look just at the bottom line. Bottom line is very important, but there are other dimensions in a business that we have to make sure we address. Customers, our process capabilities, and our learning for our people, like what you're doing here today, that, that is going to make a difference. JT, next slide, please. <coughs> so here is, I guess we'll give a couple, we'll give it a second here. <laughs> if you, I think, do the thing. Yeah, do the thing. Okay, I think I should do it with one more. Okay, this is, you know, what we call the balanced scorecard, four dimensions, and as a matter of fact, if you look at, you know, Kaplan and Norton's material, they start up with the customer. How do customers see us? Make sure we are measuring how we are doing with our customers. And in order, to, we all know, in order to do a good job satisfying our customer needs, if we have tight processes, optimized processes, efficient processes, and if we have good people, if we have capable team members who are up to par, they know what they're doing, it eventually, if everything is right, it's gonna translate into good financials. But sometimes, we, we can't be sure. Sometimes we can have the best people, we can have the best processes, but we, you know, we might have too many people. Or our processes might be over-engineered. So we have to adjust, and we have to keep an eye in regards to the financial impact. Because no matter how good we are, how good our people are, how good our processes are, if we are losing money, what's gonna happen in the long term? We're gonna go out of business, okay? So when we are thinking about dashboards, that's the kind of stuff we gotta be thinking about. 